I'm Dusty with 509 Stoves in Post Falls, Idaho. Today we're talking about our steel head wood stove. This is a recreational wood stove. It has secondary burn. It uses six inch chimney. We've got a baffle system inside here. We've got an air wash that works here, keeping your glass clean, some nice trees over here in the corner. This is your main draft to control your fire. And then over here on the other side, this will control your secondary burn. There are three tubes inside the stove that are up underneath the baffle to give you secondary combustion. The stove is fully brick lined on the inside. Stove weighs in at 183 pounds with 70 pounds of brick in it. You've got brick in the bottom, brick on the sides, and then a metal baffle here and a guide to help run your air onto the glass to keep your glass cleaner when your air wash system is open. Positive locking door, it's all sealed. The whole stove is 316 steel. You've got Neo Ceram glass with fire tape, full fire rope for a good door seal. This stove will take a 18 inch piece of wood and the burn time on it is between six and a half and eight hours on a full load of fuel. We have two options available for this stove. This is the 13 inch leg model and we also have an eight inch leg model. This puts the stove at 30 inches to the top here or at 25 inches. This stove is great for tiny homes, larger RVs, hunting cabins, great for ice shanties and wall tents. You can cook on the top. The top will run anywhere between 340 and 800 degrees. This stove will heat up to approximately 1,000 square feet. The BTU range of this stove runs between 10,000 and 21,000 BTUs per hour on cordwood. Okay, so we have a hand welded full stainless steel water tank. This will hold four and three quarters gallons of water. What you'll do is you'll take off your side heat shield and it comes with the shoulder bolts for mounting. You can hook it on this side or you can hook it on the other side or like a lot of people do, they'll buy a tank for each side. Hi, this is Dusty of 509 Stoves. Today we're burning for the first time the steel head model to show our happy clients what to do to season the stove. You want to build a very, very small fire inside the stove, something, you know, something like this, very small, and we want to build uh, two or three of those and let them burn so that we can get the baffle board seasoned, the paint, the bricks, your chimney cap, things of that nature. So let it burn, let it cool down, move your ashes around, build another fire, do that approximately three times till you feel like uh, you've you've done enough to season the stove. Dusty at 509. Thank you.